We now know why a plot to blow up a U.S. bound airliner had no chance of succeeding. The trigger man chosen by Al Qaeda was actually a double agent working for Saudi Arabia and the CIA. Senior correspondent John Miller, former deputy director of national intelligence, is here with the inside story. And I guess this, too, is why John Brennan yesterday wouldn't tell us exactly where. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, and it was a good reason. Good morning. He delivered the explosive device to U.S. intelligence officials, provided information on the whereabouts of Fahd El Koso, the senior commander of al-Qaeda's wing in Yemen, killed in a drone strike last weekend. It's an intelligence victory, but it came with a cost. U.S. intelligence officials faced a difficult decision. Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula was looking for a suicide bomber. The target? An American jetliner. The only way for intelligence officials to ensure they controlled the plot was to have their own agent volunteer to be the bomber and then hand the bomb to the CIA. The trade-off? They would lose a source penetrated deep inside the organization, but they would save lives. This is an intelligence coup, the fact that the CIA and partner intelligence agencies got inside the al-Qaeda and the Arabian Peninsula networks to not only disrupt this plot, but also to get information about the location of senior al-Qaeda figures to include Fad al Kuso, who was killed last week. But penetrating an organization like AQAP is extraordinarily difficult. It means finding someone they know and will trust and getting them to turn. Few know more about AQAP and its members than former FBI agent Ali Soufan. What drives these guys? Most of these individuals uh, are brainwashed into believing that uh, their concept of jihad is basically their earthy dimension of believing in God. Uh, so there is that ideological drive that they have, the religious drive that they have. The newest bomb is said to be a redesign of the underwear bomb. The one that failed to blow up on a flight over Detroit on Christmas Day 2009. Had it worked, it would have looked like this. Our team has to get it right every time. The bad guys have to get it right only one time. This time, our guys got it right again. The latest design is said to have an improved detonation system created by Ibrahim al-Asiri, AQAP's explosives expert. What do his bombs tell another explosives expert? It tells you that he has the assets, he has the intent, and he has no conscience. Does he have talent? Yes. He has talent, and he's good at it. 